So I'm out here at the Vernon Creek property. We're at the Vernon Creek showing. This is a new showing that I found about a year, year and a half ago. And behind me you can see an area up here exposed. It's a small quarry that they used to build this logging road behind me, or at least repair the logging road. So this showing uh, continues up a creek that is right there and goes up the creek for about 150 meters before it goes underneath overburden. A short ways away from the showing you have this seasonal creek here uh, which is dry for about five six months out of the year and down below this you can find uh, mineralization uh, including float and in small areas of bedrock going down this creek and below about 350 meters you have Raymond Creek which runs below this mountain and you have a mountain on the other side which you can see a little bit through there there's a logging road that runs across that and you have another mineralized showing which is on strike of this so you have a zone running from the other side all the way up over to the showing going up at least 150 to 200 meters where it continues uh, into the overburden. You have pyrite, calcopyrite, and sphalerite, not just disseminated, but in all the rock fractures and all your little veinlets going all throughout. And uh, mineralization is consistent in all of the areas that we've sampled so far, going up the creek here, going down and on the other side. So here you see a mix of uh, your island intrusives, and your bonanza volcanics. Some of the sulfides have weathered out or leached out and your bottom layer here has the bulk of the mineralization and we're gonna go take a look at some samples. We'll take a look at the bedrock a bit. So let's just take a look at a few rocks here that um, I found laying around. And you can see all these here. The majority of these rocks are mineralized. You can see the Gaussianus rocks there and you can see how there's a Gaussian layer over top of this which is less mineralized because all the sulfides have weathered away or leached out and below your bottom layer here has the majority of your mineralization so this is your typical rock here and you can see you have your Bonanza Volcanics, you have Quartz and Calcite following in all the fractures and as you can see here you have Pyrotization along with a bit of Calcopyrite and you see these patches here, these darker patches, that is your Sphalerite. Let's take a look at a few more. Most of the rocks you pick up here have mineralization. Occasionally you'll see a bit of boronite in there. You can see most of the rock too is disseminated with pyrite and calcopyrite. Again, you have your chunks of Svalerite here, coarse pyrite, and your calcopyrite all along in here. This 
see the bands, all these rock fractures, sulfides. So not only is it disseminated, but it's in all the fractures of the rock, as well as in quartz and calcite veinlets all throughout. As we come up closer to the showing, you can see Again, your mineralized rocks. See all the mineralization here following your fine quartz and calcite veinlets pretty much everywhere. You see the white, you see mineralization more concentrated as well as disseminated in the rest of the rock. So we have some sphalerite right here. You can see there, you see following all of this. Peel some of this off and show you here. So, again, this is a large occurrence, new discovery, and this definitely needs more detailed exploration, more prospecting, sampling, geophysical, trenching, drilling, you name it. All the showings on this property so far are new occurrences, there's no known min files. And as you can see, the mineralization here is everywhere. <laughs> 